Hello, this is Momo Shai, team leader of Brack Mongol Tori from Brack University. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce our latest rover and to invite you to participate in the system acceptance review of URC 2023. Our team is made up of 30 talented and dedicated undergraduate students who share a passion for engineering and technology. This year, we have divided ourselves into nine specialized subteams, each with a specific focus such as mechanical, 3D design and simulation, electronics, communication, control, science, management, publication, AI and autonomous, and funding and outreach. Learning from previous experiences, we have adapted and modified our rover towards a more reliable and state-of-the-art machine, which can complete exploring any terrain with ease. The Asia ladder chassis resists any form of deformation when it transverses. The heart of the rover circuits and electronics is supported and secured over this strut. Further improved stability and traction is achieved using modified stainless steel light wheels and thick rubber gripper. To prevent flipping of the rover, a redesigned extender with, which extends the base area to change the center of gravity for a stable descent. Moreover, a 60-degree angular tilted wheel-to-frame orientation of the frame provides more stability in slow descent. To support the astronauts with equipment servicing and various arduous experiments, a 6 degree of freedom arm is used. Our 3 finger clock and design can help with any difficulty, also the excavator clock can take samples of soil that can be extracted with ease. Our underdeveloped adaptive 2 finger clock can pick and place objects precisely. For extreme retrieval and delivery missions, we have a modified rocker buggy mechanism to traverse rocky terrains. To combat skidding and to increase traction, a custom lightweight wheel with a strong rubber gripper is used. The suspension system is designed in such a way that it can endure sudden fall or vibration. The custom extender helps climbing steep slopes easily, ensuring stability during vertical drops. Our robotic arm can precisely lift heavy objects such as hammers, toolboxes, screwdrivers, and rope. Noticeable changes have been done to the long-range communication system this year. We have shifted to only 5.8 gear system from previous year's 2.4 gear system to communicate between the base station and the rover, along with a 5.8 gear dedicated analog FPV system. The omnidirectional antenna at the rover side is paired with an AirMax AC light rocket router. The directional sector antenna is also of 5.8 GHz and paired with the same model. PV switch has been installed this year and to get better area coverage up to 1 km, the sector antenna is moved 360 degrees with the help of an azimuth controller. 5.8 GHz dedicated FPV system provides support as a backup surrounding viewer in terms of need. This year's main upgrade is the custom printed circuit board, which is designed to be accessible and easy to install, thus ensures a modular and plug and play power system. We are using Cytron motor drivers in the rover and have incorporated overcurrent and undervoltage protection, along with reverse polarity protection. We also have a mushroom kill switch to stop the rover in case of emergency. This year, we improved the stability of our rover model and concentrated on smooth and ergonomic rover operation. ROS has been fully utilized, allowing smooth communication and better control of our system. A custom-made web GUI ROS node has been created to facilitate more intuitive and clean over our rover system. We have developed a new robust messaging format that implements error checking and correction. We also included slow start and stop feature to prevent enrich current and create friction. We have improved our autonomous navigation system by using a Jetson Nano along with the RDK GPS and a highly calibrated inclinometer. Well-tuned PID control has been implemented for smooth traversal through waypoints. This year, we have used a new and improved customized navigation algorithm which successfully detects and passes by aerial codecs, which performs significantly better than our previous system. To detect the air tags, OpenCV Aruco library has been used. We have also used a depth camera for not only tracking distance but also for avoiding obstacles in the rover's path. Three indicator LEDs have been installed on the outer part of the rover body to show the control status. We have redesigned the science module to make it more compact and efficient in order to turn our rover into a fully automated plant and soil analyzer. The science module will accumulate environmental data, detect biosignature and trace water. An excavator claw is used to dig and collect samples from a depth of 20 cm. The samples then go to the downstream steps to perform starch and amino acid tests. Water capillary and biomass tests are carried out in a different chamber. A sensor box outfitted with various gas light, ultraviolet, pressure and other sensitivity sensors is also used to detect planetary conditions, providing real-time data via customized GUI. To analyze nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in the soil, we are using an NPK probe. With the help of artificial intelligence, we can detect and classify rocks based on their major types. All of these tests are managed by a custom-made PCB specifically designed for the science module. To achieve the best results in the equipment servicing task, we simulated tasks on a dummy setup, including pushing or toggling switches, pulling drawers, and pressing keyboards. Our current system uses the YOLO V5 artificial intelligence model, whose hyperparameters have been further tuned and trained on additional data for improved mechanical tool and equipment detection. We are able to use inverse kinematics to move our end effector to any XYZ position and roll pitch, yaw, orientation. This year, after the COVID pandemic, we have made several visits to schools and technology fairs to spread the word about robotics amongst the younger audience. To keep the team on track, we have used a Kanban method on Notion.